Hey guys, what's up? So, Louis Royo, this dude, Louis Royo, oh my god, this guy knows how to draw people and he knows how to draw fantasy. And he's just like, it's all, I've never met him yet. I really want to meet him. I know he speaks, he's Spanish. I don't know if he speaks English. I don't know if I'll be able to talk to him, but this guy, he makes great figure drawing. This is the master of figure drawings. He doesn't draw other stuff. It's all about the figure. It's all about the person. I mean, look at the, the tattoo on her face. And she has like jewelry just like implanted into her face. And the tattoo and the snake and the jewelry. And it's not amazing. Like jewelry just like on her body, just like implanted in her body, you know? And that, I think that's some kind of sword. And a sword, like what? Ha, and, and a sword, like what? Okay, look at the outfit too. I mean, the. The clothing is amazing. Like, I don't know why they don't have this clothing. They should actually make this exact thing because they would make bank. Look at that, that clothing is so cool. Look at this glove. Who would not buy this glove? Oh man, anyway, so he's all about the figure. If you really wanna learn figure drawing, like look at these Louis Royal art books. Now, so these are a little bit adult, but I'm not gonna show any adult because it's YouTube, so we're gonna go total, you know, like PG here. Um, but as you can see, like, it's all about the figure, it's all about the face. I mean, look at that, and the clothing is so cool. And then always the tattoos, like these really cool tattoos. Like, I've never seen actual, anyone actually have these tattoos but like if any of you guys are in a tattoo parlor and stuff check out the tattoos from Louis Royo because you could add that to your tattoos that you make because I haven't seen this in tattoo places but this looks really cool look at this tattoo I mean look at these tattoos I don't know if you do face tattoos but look at that tattoo man that's really cool that's really cool and um yeah, uh, so this is called Suburbs of Beauty, and it's just one of the art books that he makes. Um, and it's just like, he basically draws girls and stuff, you know, but um, it's just really cool. And like, they always have swords, so they're really like, really cool and fantasy. They've got these like cool tattoos, so that look really cool. They've got like the makeup going on. See, like she has like the eye thing happening, you know? And it's always cool because like he always adds the makeup, he always adds the tattoos, he always adds, adds the jewelry. And some of the jewelry is just like implanted on her body. And the rest of the jewelry is just like hanging out. And um, geez, and it's like, and then swords. I mean, how do you not, and the swords are not like regular swords, they're like fantasy swords. How do you like not think this is the coolest thing ever? So like he just, what's amazing about his art is that he just does, he just does figures, right? He just does figures and he just does like just people. And then what's, what's amazing about, it's not just like, I've seen other people draw figures, but look at the moody color, color palette, right? Look at the outfit, the, the, the clothing and stuff. Um, it's got a feel to it. It's got a feeling to it. It's like, um, it's it, the color. It's, it's not, it's the color that he uses. It's the clothing that people, that they have. All right, check this one out. I like the, what I like also about this book is that it's got like a regular drawing and it's got the finished piece. And I really think this is really finished. I mean, this work is really finished work. And you could just see like, again, the jewelry just hanging off her skin, like like it's on her skin. And then it's got like dragon tattoos and all kinds of stuff like that. Swords, like she's got like three swords, right? Isn't that cool? Look at the, notice the, um, the color palette. It's not regular color it's flesh toned right and then foggy misty white 
Now, this is cool if you noticed, I noticed the trick he uses about um, painting this stuff like that. It's just like the white he puts, the reflecting, he puts this reflecting effect on the swords, which is just amazing. Um, it really makes the sword look like it's just reflecting bright light, like the, the sword is super polished, you know? And basically he does girls, he does women. Um, this one, this one is pretty tame. I've seen him doing a lot of more sexier stuff. This one's pretty tame, you know? And then like all of a sudden he'll put color in it. Like, look at that. So all of a sudden there's a splash of red on there. And you can see like, again, the, the, the drawing and then the finished piece. It's just like he drew it and then he went over it with red and that makes it different. See how every, every like drawing is the same like it's the same okay that's good because in an art kind of way when you draw the same kind of drawing over and over again if that's the one drawing that you really want to draw you get very very good at it so this is why you know he does this one kind of drawing the color palette the girls um the the body art the the all of that stuff but because he does very similar drawings over and over again he gets really good at doing this one kind of drawing if he tried a different kind of drawing it probably wouldn't look as good as his stuff that he does with the figure figure drawing just because if you notice like every drawing that he does it's the same so whenever you practice the same kind of drawing you get better at it like little like it sounds like it looks like he's already good at it, but yeah, but think about it. How many like thousands of drawings has he drawn and, and paintings has he done with that same, um, uh, you know, com comp uh, person, you know, with the same like uh, composition, you know, like with that, the, per the girl, the body art, you know, it's all the same. You could see, see that? Like, and then sometimes they have wings the bright reflective swords, the body art, right? The cool, like, um, the cool outfit, the cool, um, like the pants and the cool outfit and stuff like that. You know, the, the really moody environment. I didn't, I only noticed that now, but that is a dragon back there. The two eyes, the fangs, the mouth, that's a dragon in the back. I never noticed that before from this picture. I must have looked at this picture thousands of times. I just now see the dragon. Isn't that cool? I just noticed that that was a dragon there. That is so weird. Maybe, okay, I, I probably only have the close up. That's why I didn't see the dragon. This is the full picture. Oh my God, so cool. And um, there's more, there's like this one. And you see, it's the girl, right? But if you just drew the girl, it wouldn't be the same thing. You could draw her and she could look like that and you could even use the same colors, which like, you know, the umber, the the, the raw umber, the burnt sienna. Um, and then you would like, you know, you would have, oh, look at this. You would have like, you know, the girl, but then you've got the hair and then you've got the, the shoulder piece with the skull. And then you have another skull here, the tattoos, the see-through uh, sheer dress right the gauntlet and the bright reflective sword these are elements that he puts in like almost every picture is pretty much those elements the reflective swords the cool uh the tattoos the cool uh, um you know clothing that's like half ripped and half like not um the sword the reflective bright you know the sword reflecting light like he doesn't use a lot of skulls per se, but he does do like a lot of decoration, like a lot of body decoration and stuff like that. And it's it's interesting because it's just a variation of what's like already there, you know? It's like a variation of um, of of the same drawing. Can you see the similarity in all of the drawings? It's like it's amazing how even though all the drawings have the similarity, these, these similar things that are in the drawing, the swords, the outfit, the, the tattoos, the body art, the, the jewelry, right? The girl, the, 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 the weird kind of like moody background and, and the, 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 the limited palette 
color scheme. Um, this is this palette is white, blue, and then kind of like dark umber, sort of black, brownish black, sort of kind of like colors. Um, amazing. I also dig this. Well, they have this in this book, which is like the drawing, and then they've got the finished piece. I mean, that's really cool. It really does make. I mean. You could already see the artwork, the, how good that drawing is from the beginning. You know, that drawing is just, it's a really good drawing, right? And then he knows what he's gonna paint when it comes out. I really like, hope he speaks English because I really wanna talk to English, um, talk to him in English. I, 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 was, I was trying to talk to Cabral, so I forgot his name, Cabral something, something, his last name is Cabral. And he's the only one, he's the only fantasy artist whose last name is Cabral. And I met him at uh, LuxCon and he was, he had a table there and he was showing me his art. And I like his dragons and I like his art and stuff like that. And I tried talking to him and I couldn't because he didn't speak English at all. He only spoke Spanish and I only know like two words in Spanish, a little bit more than that, but I don't know enough in Spanish to really talk to the guy. So I really want, you know, and I really wanted to talk to him and I couldn't because we didn't speak, he didn't speak English and stuff. And as you can see, like, there's another thing about the girls, it's the posing is different. So the girls are all posed differently, but there it is again, the sword, the tattoos, the body art, some of the metal pieces look like they're just like attached to her skin, like piercings or whatever it is, or somehow it like, you know, and uh, the girl, you know, man, it's sexy and it's like, the girl is there, it's got the sword. The background is like dark umber, white, just all over the place, like a misty kind of like mist happening somewhere in there. And you know what? It doesn't, even though the compositions are the same or like very, very similar, they're so different enough that each one is completely different and looks completely, like the differences there's so many differences in this one. Like, there's so many differences. You get the monsters in the back and everything, but it's just like, if you, if you just look at it, it's a different picture. It's not the same picture at all, but it's the same composite. It's amazing how he'll take the same elements, but somehow like, well, he'll use different models, but you know, the, the elements are the same, but the weapons are different. The actual tattoos are different. The, the jewelry is different, the outfits are different. It's just like the girl, you know, with the outfit. I really think this is cool. Like he really focuses on the figure drawing and he doesn't really focus as much on the environment or the story behind the figure. Like there's no story behind it. It's a cool girl with a cool sword, dressed cool and, you know, looking good. And it's got like, like this one has these monsters in the back, but they're not even important. He hardly, even shows you the definition of the monsters. It just looks like, you know, it just looks like kind of like vaguely drawn monsters that are an afterthought from the main figure, which is like the girl and everything like that. So, um, and then like what I dig about like this one is like the different colors. I mean, this one make it looks a lot different, right? Even though it's the same thing, the sword and everything, but the colors are different. Um, let me show this, the whole picture and then like zoom in that's completely completely different because the colors are different the skin tone's realistic the hair is an actual hair color that that's like a natural hair color more or less maybe a little bit dyed and then you see you have the sword and you've got you know all of the the the, the outfit and the drapery what she's wearing and stuff like that and then next to it you've got the um just the drawing of it, the drawing, the idea of it first. And uh, this one's called The Fall Under Ishtar. I mean, that's cool. It's a good name. And, geez, I'm just gonna show you more of these. And then like the dark, um, the dark paint, the burnt umber, the raw sienna, you know, the red hair, the sword, right? the outfit, the tattoos, it's all there, right? But it's different. He, he just like plays with the form. He changes things around enough to make the drawing different, but every girl has the same 
like shiny sword. Every girl has the cool outfit with the drapery and the draping clothes. They all have like the tattoos and the like the the like body art like like the metal art on her skin and stuff. I'm just gonna sh uh, and then like uh, it's got like this is interesting. This is like a um, this is another weird. It looks like he did like three or four drawings of the same person. So as you could see, like it's pretty much a little bit different, right? It's just a variation. And this is what I'm talking about. It's like the same drawing, he's doing the same drawing. And when you practice the same thing, you really get good at that one thing. Like with art, it's like when you practice, if you just wanna get good at drawing people, you just gotta keep drawing people and don't start drawing. Like you wanna get good at drawing people, maybe you wanna take a photo of someone sitting on a chair holding a glass of wine and stuff like that, but you don't focus on the chair or the wine, you focus on the person. You focus on just the body art and just the actual person and you practice just drawing people in different poses and stuff like that. So I feel like he practices drawing the girls and he practices drawing swords and he practices like making the whole environment moody and stuff like that. And because he just does so many of these, they come out good and it's just like a variation of, it's just like a variation of, um, of things. And I guess he gets the idea like before he's gonna draw it, but you could see like how different everything is. And it's just like, he just shuffles things around, but the concepts are the same. Sword, you know, armor here, like weird armor, weird clothing, like really undefined backgrounds, not a lot of backgrounds. So he's not really an environmental drawing. He just does this like, foggy environment in the back and doesn't really make any details of it. And even if there is something in the environment, it, it, he doesn't put any details of the environment in it, you know? So when you have something like that, you could see the environment is just like, it's just a blue thing, blue and white background basically, right? And behind her is a giant robot, okay? But all the details on the girl, all the details on the girl with the gun, with the, with the um, body art, you know, with the outfit and how that fits and how that looks. I don't know like if he has a lot of these outfits and he does that during the photo shoot and he puts it on them during the photo shoot or he just draws the outfits in later, but they're very similar outfits, even though like they're all different designs. They're all, you know, similar. And as you can see, like more of these like girl, um, with the sword and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. If you really, it's really cool. And the models are just beautiful. They're just gorgeous. And they look really cool. Like the, he doesn't just draw like girls and, 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 and figure drawing stuff and people. He just, he makes them look really cool. Like they look super cool. They look really cool. Uh, I'm just gonna show Medusa's gaze that one's called. Um, just a bunch of really cool stuff. And then there's that one, another one of these. And the book just goes on and on. And this is not the only book he has. This is not like the only book he has. This is um, one of a set of books. And he just does this kind of art. It's all this kind of art, but everybody loves him. And he does it so well. I mean, it just, every picture looks different but you know what to expect with Royal, just like beautiful women, heroines, swords, um, jewelry on their body, like weird, cool, flowy outfits and everything like that. Let me know what you guys think of the art uh, in this. If you guys also know about, you know, Louis Royo, let me know what you guys think about Louis Royo and, and this kind of art. And um, like and subscribe to my videos and like, like this video if you like this video. And I will see you guys in another video. Take care. Have a great day.